Hi, I'm Julian Doherty, president and founder of DFS Marketing. DFS is an insurance marketing organization and we wholesale fixed index annuities for some of the largest insurance companies in the world. My customers are financial advisors, registered investment advisors, and insurance agents. Today we're having our Two Comma Club meeting here in our Houston office. And Two Comma Club meeting, what we do is we bring in large groups of $1 million or more fixed index annuity producers. We share great ideas, great concepts, how to start marketing in this digital age of 2019, bring in some good insurance carriers, and try to be able to ultimately help producers make more money and see more people. Today I've got Vernon. Vernon, how are you doing today? Fine. Yeah, thank you for coming all the way from up north, right? Up north, well, Texas. not too far. Not yeah. too far, down North here to our Texas, office. Right. Yes, sir. Right. My wife is from the Beaumont area, Nederland. I know it's not close to where you live, but yeah. you know I've lived here in Texas my whole life. Are you originally from Texas? Yes, I am. Yeah? Yes, I am. Where'd you go to school? Well, I went to, uh, I actually graduated from high school in Shreveport, Louisiana. Okay. Then moved to Texas after that, been in Texas the rest of my life. I was born in Houston. Okay. And then my dad worked in the shipyards down in Port Lavaca and then yeah. got drafted in the Army. And uh, we lived in South Louisiana with my mother and grandmother uh, okay. until dad got out of the service. Yeah. And then uh, lived there all my life until after high school, then moved to Texas again. Yeah. So yeah, that's good. Finally got back to the land of living. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So, how did you get into the financial advising, financial planning, insurance selling world? Do you remember? Yes, it was back in 1982. Uh, I joined a firm back then called A.L. Williams Company. Oh, yeah. You may have heard of them. Oh, yeah. You know, they were the buy term investor oh, rest yeah. company concept. Yeah. And I uh, got all my licenses then and selling mutual funds as well. And uh, that's how I got started in the business. So I became a senior vice president with them and um, built a small organization uh, and stayed with it ever since then. I've been in and out of it part-time, full-time, part-time, full-time, and um, uh, worked, oh, about eight years from 2009 until 2017 um, with a firm out of Plano, Texas, traveled northeast Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and part of west Texas, working with seniors who had already been retired. And these people had been retired. They were average age of about 78. So after working with them, doing trust reviews, I got to learn the good and the bad and the ugly of what happens when people don't do a good job of planning. That makes sense. So when I decided to open my own practice and focus on the boomer generation to try to help those people not make the same mistakes the clients that I had had made, because most of those people were living on just Social Security, and it was tough. You know, they had another, some of them, another 10, 15 years to live, and, and they were just uh, scraping it. You yeah. know, counting the nickels, and that's all they could do. That makes sense. So it was not a lot of fun for them. And I said, you know, people don't need to do that. And they admitted the problems they had because poor planning or lack of planning. Yeah, that's yeah. good. So A.L. Williams, right. have you read his book? Which one? I mean, I, does he have multiple books? Mr. Williams originally he's, he's had a book. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. So I have a producer that I work with out of North Carolina, and he writes lots of annuity business with us. Originally, he said he got his first training with, you know, working for A.L. Williams, Joel yeah. Wayne Hill. Okay. I don't know if that name rings a bell I to you. I remember that name. You yeah. know, and he, every time we're on the phone, more stories come out of his mouth about his time with A.L. Williams than any other time in his in his mm -hmm. life. It must have had a pretty big impact on you as well, it sounds it did. like. It did, it, it got me in the business but more importantly, it got me understanding that there are different ways to plan, different ways to structure, yeah. uh, you know, investments and, and, uh, and insurance products. Yeah, the work and, uh, ethic. Yes, the worth ethic. Absolutely. Oh, man, it's Absolutely. good, good. Well, you know, I'm telling you, what do you like selling about fixed annuities? Well, of course, the safety and the soundness of the program. You know, over 250 years of recorded history, no one's ever lost a dime in an insurance policy. That's right. And uh, sometimes people say, well, I've heard of people losing money, and uh, no, that's just a story. Because of the state agencies and the way they're governed, the way they're regulated with the uh, commissioners, looking over everything that goes on with the Federal Reserve System, this legal reserve, I'm sorry, legal reserve system sure. that's in place for the insurance companies. Uh, you know, it, it's a, 
there's nothing more sound than that. Yes. And you know, if you go into New York City and you look at uh, all, all the skyscrapers that are built there in the lobby, there's always a plaque on the wall that said, financing done by XYZ Insurance Company. That's right. Because that's where the money is in the world today. They have, I guess, more money than the banks. That you know. sounds like it. But they have money. They're not, you know, just numbers on a piece of paper. Like our banks today bring in uh, $100,000 and they loan out, uh, you know, uh, 90000 90, of that. Of so, it, you know, it's right. on the street. And, uh, the, you know, the bankers always say, well, we're more concerned with yeah. the return of our money than we are the return on our money. Yes. And uh, an insurance company's different. The money's always there. In reserves. It's always in reserves. That's right. right. You know, could you, out of all the clients, out of all the years that you sold these fixed index annuities, back when you probably started, there were equity index annuities. Can you remember one client? I always like to ask about one client because usually the stories touch home. They're intriguing. You know, they mean the world to the producer. What is one client that you actually have like saved or helped really well that sticks out in your mind with a fixed index annuity or using a fixed index annuity? And so there may be a lot of them. I don't know. Pick one. Well, there's several. Uh, there's one couple that uh, was probably the only boomers that I worked with when I was in my former company. And uh, he had retired from Halliburton Company and his wife was retired from teaching school. And she had to quit early because of uh, chronic bronchitis. So she was uh, somewhat debilitated from a health standpoint. He retired early from uh, Halliburton but had done quite well. And between the two of them, they had a little over $2 million in their savings portfolios, 401ks, 403bs, and uh, some non-qualified monies in the stock market and some insurance programs. And so when I asked him, I said, what can I do uh, to, to help you? He said, Burton, what I'm concerned about is I had some buddies that retired and, and they lost their shirts back in 08. I don't want that to happen to me and my wife. And he said, you know, we just have one daughter and she's doing well. She's a physician's assistant. And he said, um, I just don't, can, can you show me how I can avoid that? And I said, sure. So I laid out a plan for him. Now, my plan was done on legal size yellow paper, okay? And I said, here's where you are over here. And what I'd recommend, this is after I got all his numbers and went home and did my homework. I came back and said, what you need to do is move it to these products on this side, and here's the reasons why. And I explained it all to him. He understood. And the day we were working on putting the plan together, uh, his wife said, they live out in the country. He built a home next door to his mom's. They have a ranch. Uh, I don't know, about 1,500 acres and raised black Angus cattle. That's what he grew up in. Then he got his job in the oil industry, retired, built his home next door to his mom. She's in her mid-80s now, and she's a, a cowboy still at this day. Oh, I you know, and gets out and works the cattle. Yep. So um, that afternoon while we were having coffee and finishing up our plan, his wife said, did you check the mail today? And he said, no, I haven't. She said, well, let me run out and get it. So she ran out and got the mail, and lo and behold, there was a, a new brokerage statement and she had opened it up and was reading it on the way in and she threw it on the table in front of us and she said we lost fourteen thousand dollars last month he said that's what i don't want to continue to happen and you know fourteen thousand up against 2.2 .2 million is not a whole lot of money yeah. <laughs> but he said i could have bought uh, you know a, a vehicle for my oh, sure. from a ranch oh, yeah. you know which he ultimately did but those are the kinds of things that stick out in my mind. So I was able to help them, and to this day, they love it. They're in good shape. In fact, uh, in the fall, I think it was in November, I went out and uh, I, I moved one of the annuities that we had put him into because it was a little lackluster, and you know the new ones that come out today have better bells and whistles yeah, on them. Yeah. And I just showed him. I said, you know, Jay, if you move this here, you'll get a bonus on it, and of course that'll offset the small surrender uh, penalty that he would pay for it. And I said, long range, I think you'll be better off because it'll, it's an accumulation product, and as young as you are, he just now turned 62. Sure. So, uh, you know, he uh, hadn't even started his Social Security program yet. So he said, that makes sense. So we moved that, and he was happy with that. And, uh, but that's one that sticks out. Uh, another one on the other side of the coin, I worked with a couple who were in their 80s when I worked with them about four or five years ago and set up some annuity programs as well as some uh, single premium life insurance with advanced benefit riders on yes. it. 
He's now 90 and his wife is 88, and she's in the early stages of Alzheimer's, and he is having uh, some health problems, and these two people are now, he's just now in the hospital coming out into rehab for some work had to be done on his knees due to bad arthritis, advanced stages, and I've been working with his daughter, who's his uh, trustee on his trust and uh, power of attorney, et cetera, uh, that we, we set up back then, and uh, so I can see the benefits now of the right kind of products yes. because with them now going into a assisted living facility and possibly soon to be in a nursing home, they have more than adequate funds to take care of that. It's not going to come out of the family's pocket. Sure. And the family's real pleased with that. So yes, I've been those living with benefits them. work very, absolutely, very, very well. Absolutely. You know, and uh, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it makes you feel real good to know that uh, you were able to help someone. So I've seen it on both sides now. A young couple just retired and, and getting ready to need income th down the road. Because yes. he's got his ranch income. But then again, that's not always great. You know, as the old saying, chicken one day's feathers the next. That's right. Because <laughs> <laughs> that can be a volatile market, too. Yeah, it can. And then... Uh, Seeing the older couple that now are in, you know, Papa's 90 and Mom's 88, and, and how that's going to affect their family, or I should say a benefit to the family for the family not having to worry about how to take care of Mom and Dad because they've got all the funds they need because we moved considerable amount of money out of a brokerage account back then when we did it, and he's never lost a dime. In fact, he's made money. Yes, so, so, of course. Well, yeah. good. So, you know, fixed annuities, obviously, we, we're both in the business. We love it. We breathe it. We are fixed annuities. Right. And so with DFS marketing, we ultimately are able to offer you good products to be able to offer your clients. You've been able to come down here. You've had a little bit of a taste of our guaranteed prospects to see a lot more is going to start mm -hmm. happening in the next couple of weeks for you. Right. Be able to be like one of those other producers being able to say, hey, I've been able to write some business right. with this. Looking you know? forward to that. You know, and that's what we're all about. So I appreciate you coming out, Vernon, spending your time with yes, us. It's and been a pleasure. It's allowing a me. Thank you right. very much. Thank you. And uh, remember, DFS Marketing, we can help you make more money and deliver better service to your clients. Subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest updates on the fixed index annuity world and how DFS can help you with your business.